Injuries, weight-cutting issues and inactivity had restricted Kamzat Chimiev to just two fights in the past two years and slowed the momentum of the UFC's biggest hype train. But the undefeated Russian exploded back onto the scene in emphatic fashion, positioning himself for a potential shot at the middleweight champion after defeating Robert Whitaker in the UFC 308 co-main event on Sunday. Whitaker looked to have fallen out of the middleweight title picture after a second-round TKO loss to current champion Dreykus Duplessis, only to storm back into contention with two straight wins this year. But he was no match for Chimiev on Sunday, with Chimiev securing what John Onik described in commentary as one of the most violent submissions the UFC has seen. It was the first time Whitaker had been submitted in his career and came in sudden fashion, with the Australians seemingly handling the early adversity well after Chimiev took him down. But a face crank forced Whitaker to tap quickly, with Chimiev telling Hall of Famer Daniel Cormier after the fight that he heard the Australian's jaw crack. Holy cow! I think he messed up his jaw. Whitaker later released a statement via Instagram, explaining the injury to fans. Thank you everyone for all the love and support. It's a tough gig sometimes but that's the business," the Australian wrote. Big congratulations to Kamzat, he was the better man tonight and that's all there is to it. I felt great, everything was on point and I was ready. My jaw is good but my teeth were moved in. It's a good excuse to fix them properly now huh? I'm disappointed but I come back better from every setback and every challenge so this is no different. I want to thank my team and everyone who supported me to get here. Time to go spend time with the family for a bit. Be back soon. The win left no doubt Chimiev should be next in line for a title shot against champion Dreykus Duplessis, although speaking with main events Nico Pajarillo this week, UFC boss Dana White poured cold water over that idea. I don't know about that, Dana White said when asked if the winner would pass Sean Strickland in the queue for the next shot. To talk about jumping guys in the line right now, let's see how the fight plays out. We gotta see how it plays out before we start talking about jumping lines, who would get the next title shot. But in this division, this is the baddest fight you could possibly make right now. So whoever wins, it's a good thing for them. Obviously Chimiev did it in such emphatic fashion that White may have no choice. No one wants to fight with me. All the champions are running from me, Chimiev said after the fight.